So with this group of priests and I, every Monday we used to go to movies. And at the theater, they had small, medium, and large pops, and it was free refills. And I couldn't figure out. They kept getting big ones, and I kept getting little ones. And finally one of the priests said to me, why, why, are you, why don't you just get a big one? And I said, well, I said, it's, it's all the pop that you can drink, and you can pay 99 cents or one ninety nine or two ninety nine for all the pop. it's the same amount of pop. But this is why I should be in charge of budgets. Hi, I'm Father Joe Krupp, pastor at Holy Family in Grand Blank in St. Mark and Goodrich, and I'm here to answer your questions. We just got two left, so uh, let's get after submitting them. Yeah, there's two. Okay, so. Uh, we start? All right. I was on a roll of reading them right side up or upside right or whatever you're supposed to say. I know that in the book of Luke, the whole story of the Immaculate Conception and Nativity are told with events preceding. How did Luke learn of these events to write them down? Uh, what a gosh, you guys are, these are some good questions. Um, you know what's interesting? In the second edition of our new catechism, You'll see almost, I think it's right in the beginning, there's a picture from a, a house church from the first or second century AD. And it's a picture of Mary. Someone drew just this little thing on the wall of Mary holding a baby. And the tradition is that Luke did that because he knew her. Um, there is a strong tradition that goes all the way back to the first century that Luke and Mary knew each other. And that that's where he got that information was from her. And I think that's really cool to think about. Um, so great question. Did I answer it? Yeah. Uh, so how did he learn about these events? M Mama told him. He sat down with Mary and uh, wrote them down. And I think that's really cool. Um, okay. Oh, sweet, fancy Moses. All right. I live in Kentucky. Hey, my niece is there. Uh, and uh, and receive your words of wisdom. Well, thank you. Uh, thanks to a cousin who recommended me to you. Sorry about the first game of the basketball season. Okay, you were starting to be my favorite, and then you brought up you guys curb stomping us. All right, uh, my question. If a person goes to the Saturday vigil and then also goes to Mass Sunday morning, can they receive communion at both Masses since technically... The Saturday Vigil Mass is really a Sunday Mass. Yeah, yeah, and you're you're right on all counts. So uh, for the church, you could put it this way. Sunday starts at 4 o'clock on Saturday, okay? And um, so when you go to Mass Saturday night and Sunday morning, they are typically the same Mass in terms of the readings and the prayers and the homily. Um, although it's funny, I always tell my Saturday Mass people, you're my experiment. Like while I'm preaching, I'm watching their faces, and if it looks like they're dying a little, <laughs> I, I go, well, we better work on that homily. Um, but... Um, uh, yeah, can you go to both? Absolutely. You know, as long as it's not like your reasoning is important here. Um, there is a mindset that treats communion unintentionally, perhaps like magic. Uh, it is not magic. It is grace. Uh, it's us responding to God's invitation and receiving it. The communion we received Saturday uh, is sufficient. Um, so it's not a matter of quote unquote stockpiling grace like I, I know this sounds funny to some of you but I've had people say well I get more grace that way <laughs> that's I, I hope you hear me say that doesn't that's not how it works right if you go because you want to worship our Lord and receive him oh praise God but if you're going to kind of get more that's not the right mindset I hope I'm making sense is this making sense yes okay um so anyway, congratulations. Uh, you guys won fair and square. And uh, I'm going to file that away. And uh, thank you for this question. Is this our first one from Kentucky that we know of? Um, so thank you for tuning in. And uh, we're so happy to do these. Uh, let's keep those questions coming. We'll keep making these videos. And uh, you can submit your questions to the Church of the Holy Family 
Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter account. Um, I uh, And we'll be happy to get after them. So God bless you. Have a great day.